Hey guys, Cole the Carman here. So today we are going to be doing another towing video. Um, I don't know what I'm exactly going to be doing, but it's about the model uh, scale. I guess you could call it a scale 118 um, model boat and trailer. But I am going to be towing it with the 99 Chevy Silverado. And yeah, so stay tuned. I do plan on buying some more model us. Uh, well, some more scale uh, model hitches for the Yukon Durango, um, Yukon Durango, the Dodge Ram, and the Hess truck, and the Cadillac. So, yes, and they will be um, in some towing videos to come in the near future. They will be the ones actually towing. So, yeah, guys, let's uh, go ahead without further ado and continue on towing. Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to do is, um, well, it is up on like little blocks to hold it up so that I can actually back the trailer up, I mean back the truck up legitly. But yeah, first things first, we're going to take this cover off, this makeshift, makeshift cover off, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so here it is, it's extremely dusty in there, you can just see, I mean it is caked in dust. Even though it did have this makeshift cover on, but there it is. Like I said in the last video, I do want to paint this and get off this nasty uh, sticker line. The stickers, well, the graphics on it um, were pretty cool when they didn't start peeling off. I've had this boat for a very long time, and the stickers just, you know, started to fall off and everything. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what color I should paint this, um, but I plan on leaving the top black and the rails black, so maybe repaint it white, and this trailer, maybe I could do, I don't know, maybe paint it the same color and uh, paint these red, uh, you know, wheel um, arches the same color as the trailer, but obviously leave the orange on there, just so it would, you know, make it you know not stand out so much like that but yeah so here it is twin motors on the back they did have a sticker on them saying how much horsepower they had each i don't know uh what they said because obviously stickers started peeling off and everything but yeah um i used to have fishing poles for this but i don't now so maybe get some of those and put a fishing pole two fishing poles up there and maybe a flag something back there but yeah so let's go ahead and back up the silverado and then take this to go for me to go get all this dust off so let's go ahead and do that okay let's go ahead and get towing as you can hear the tires are rubbing <laughs> they only rub when uh the tires go you know full, full lock as you can see right there it rubs right here maybe i could trim that just cut it a little but it doesn't rub back here so that's pretty good anyway back to the point i go ahead and align this with my eyes without the camera in the way then i will leave this okay right about there then hook it under okay now i think will drop down I think <laughs> let's see eh, a little bit not much because this boat doesn't you know weigh more than probably like two three pounds well maybe not even no it not it could not be that much maybe a pound or half a pound because <laughs> this is pretty light you know but there it is now I can back this out oh yeah that's right these little wheel things so let me go ahead and get the other one um from the other side and then i'll pick this back up
You can actually still see the water on there. Couldn't get this off. I think I got to get some goo gone for this because this stuff is really stuck on there. But uh, here it is. This is really messed up. It probably would need a new top. But here it is. I got some of that rust stain out. As you can see, I cleaned out the top of the motor. It's still drying in there. I might take these cases off of the motor and just let them somewhat dry in the sunlight. But anyway, uh, the boat is all clean and I cleaned the bottom off as well. But yeah, that's pretty much for that. Uh, now I'm gonna put it back on the trailer and hook up all the, um, all the, I guess you could call them, they are miniature bungee cords, but little tie downs just to loop them around so this doesn't, you know, slide all over the trailer and then hook it back onto the truck. So let me go ahead and do all that. Just wanted to hop on here and put um, that this, if I do paint it the same color, the uh, brake lights and stuff and the lights will stand out even more. But I think this thing needs a real good cleaning because let's see, it does squeak. I don't know. It squeaks when the boat's on there. Probably, yeah. But I think this just needs some WD-40 since it hasn't rolled around in a, a while. It doesn't do it when you're pulling it forward, just backing up. But yeah, let me go ahead and put all this back together. Okay, well, um, it's not on the trailer. I got sidetracked and took out all the screws. I've never actually unscrewed this and looked in here. But you might, eh, that'd probably be too much work. I was going to say, you might be able to drill some holes back here to put out some little, um, out, like, uh, okay, come on, think. Um, not outboards, inboards. Put inboards in and have them right here and here. And then um, put up, like, some batteries, control modules. But this really boat isn't made for that. But maybe one day I might think about getting an actual good, you know, running, not one of those, uh, you know, cheap little boats that break after um, summer is over. <laughs> that last about three months and then they don't work anymore. Maybe get a legit one. I don't know. Just thinking. But I am going to dry this out and then re-screw it, then put it on the trailer, and then finish off this video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that. Okay, the boot's all back together, all hooked up and everything. I do want to find something because if you are in real life, you have to have these motors up. I think, oh, see, that one's staying up. Well, this other one, though. No. <laughs> um, maybe a rubber band or do something to get this to back to make it tight so it... Mm, to make it tight so it don't, um, come on, go back on, so it don't, um, you know, keep flopping around like it does, but now I have to fool with this, and then I can finish this video up for you guys and get it uploaded, so there, that's on, so now let's go ahead and get on with the rest of this video. I'm just gonna back it on up. Alright, now move this, move these little stoppers and then back it up more. Right there. Pretty close. Uh, and take these out. Put one here, one here, and then one on the other side, right there. And I, I am gonna put this back in the boat, uh, probably right in here, once it all dries, right back in here. But I'm gonna leave it in the back of the truck for right now. And yeah, 
so um, that's pretty much it for this video guys um, thank you again this is just gonna get in the way um, thank you again for watching and uh, let me know down in the comments what videos you want to see with the model cars towing wise or in general um, like I said um, any videos you guys would recommend and yeah I will make them happen so Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.